Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Mercedes and this is the Frugal Life with Mercedes. Today we are going to talk about the best way to save on groceries. Now about a year ago I did a really long video, I want to say it was like 45 minutes or something crazy, on all the different ways that you could save on groceries. So some people will say a meal plan, others will say shop um, the sales ads, cook from scratch. There is a bunch of different ways that you can save on groceries. But my personal opinion, the best way to save on groceries is to have a working pantry. Now, a lot of you probably have working pantries and do not even realize it. Essentially, a working pantry is like, think of a, um, think of a, a pantry that you see online, you know, on social media, probably on YouTube, where somebody has, you know, just cases and cases and cases of food, um, varieties of foods for one day, some day, maybe, possibly, but they aren't eating it. It's just sitting there. A working pantry is very similar, except you're always pulling things from the pantry. So if you are the type, let's use stuffing boxes of stuffing. Let's say you've got a crock pot recipe um, that you cook a couple times a month. So when you go grocery shopping, you plan and you get two boxes of stuffing and you put it in your pantry. Okay, so you use one of them. The next time you go shopping, you would get another one to replace that. So that's basically essentially what a working pantry is. It's using the food you already have, the meals that you already like to prepare, you just would have mass quantities of it. And you get the mass quantities slowly, um, you know, we'll, we'll stick with the stuffing analogy. Um, let's say that you know that you use 24 boxes of stuffing in a year because you make that recipe twice a month. When you find it on clearance or sale, um, then you get to decide when you buy it and at what price point and you could theoretically have enough to last you the year. But you don't have to do it at that large of a scale. If it's on sale, you could buy a few of them, put it in, and when you make that recipe, take it out and then you replace it. You know, you can decide how many of each item that you want. And that's essentially what a working pantry is. It's cooking from it on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis, but you never let it um, diminish completely. Because you guys have seen before where I was like, oh, we're running low on beans. I'm going to have to stock up on those. And I still had like five cans of beans, but I pushed those forward. We'll use those first. I found a really great deal on canned beans and I bought more to put back there. They had a long shelf life. That's also important. And so it's first in, first out. You're getting things on sale, you know, so you are shopping the sales and the circulars and you are possibly using a meal plan if that's what you guys do. If you do not use a meal plan, that's okay. Um, but you only want to have things in your working pantry that are things that you eat on a regular basis, that you know that your family likes. Um, and you want to have stuff that makes full meals as much as possible. And now, of course, we're not taking into consideration um, fresh fruits and vegetables, meats, dairies, those kinds of things. Because um, to a certain extent, there's only so much that you can buy those in mass quantities. Now, meat can be frozen. So I will use the stuffing in that analogy again. There is a crock pot dish that I really like to make, and I will make it for you guys sometime I never have. And you need chicken breast, you need cream of chicken soup, you need um, a box of stuffing, and you need a little bit of milk and a little bit of water. So that is a full complete meal. So you would wanna make sure that you had a box of stuffing, chicken breast, which you could have in your freezer, and um, cream of chicken soup or mushroom soup or celery soup, whatever it is, and that would make a meal. 
And so this also alleviates you going to the store a bunch of times because you already have meals um, on hand that you can prepare easily, that are already into your routine. And that would also include spices. Um, you go to the store and you get garlic and then you see, oh, garlic is on sale and the shelf life is several years. Um, if it, there's money in the budget, instead of just buying the one, you would buy the two. And that's, I mean, th different people have a different idea of what a working pantry is, but that's how I run my house and our pantry is you get things when they're on sale, but that food is not just for some day when the zombie apocalypse happens or doesn't happen. You know, it's about having things on hand to make meals. Um, and it makes it very functional. And you always have food on hand. You get more control over um, what, what you spend. Now, we cannot control what the prices are at the grocery store. However, again, it's just like with couponing. If Brandon's favorite soap is $9, I don't want to pay $9. So when it's $2 after coupons, we're going to stock up on it and get it at $2. Um, and then we have it until the next time it goes on sale. And it's the same thing with food, um, whether it be convenience items like a box of stuffing or meat, drinks, spices, baked goods, whatever, you know, whatever you think that you're going to use and that you're going to need. And it's not about it sitting on a shelf pretty and us not using it. You guys, if you've been with me for a long time, you know, I say, put that pantry to work. My coupon stuff, that gets put to work. That does not just sit there. Okay, we use it and replace it with new stuff once we are running low. Same thing with the food in the house. All the food in the house is up for grabs for Brandon and I at any point. Um, and we only keep things in the house that we like, eat, those kinds of things. Now, I can't say both of us because there's things in the house that... I really love and Brandon doesn't like or vice versa and so we have stuff that he likes, stuff I like, stuff we both like, um, but we do not spend money or take up space with things that nobody likes. Um, an example of that, I love fruits and vegetables, I really do, I love vegetables, but I do not like peas. So before Brandon, I never bought peas, canned, frozen, fresh, I just don't like peas. Um, Brandon does like peas, so guess what? Those got added onto the list. Um, and there's, you know, there's things that I like that I'm sure that he doesn't, but they still are on the list because I like them. But that also helps you determine how many of those things that you need. Because if you both like it, or if everyone in your house, depending upon the number, likes it, you're going to need more than if just one person likes it. So... That is the best way to save money on groceries, is having a working pantry that is organized, tailored to you, your preferences, your needs, your budget, your space available, and you use the other techniques that I have mentioned in previous videos and lots of other people um, have mentioned in videos, I'm sure, of the shopping sales, using coupons, um, buying um, in season. You, you save a lot on fruits and vegetables when you buy in, say, in season. Having a meal plan, whether it's loosey-goosey or very um, strict meal plan. Um, I'm not referring to what you can and can't eat. I just mean like every Tuesday we have meatloaf if that's your thing. That's cool. Um, so you want to use that, but all those other techniques kind of fall a little bit short unless you have a functioning working pantry. Okay guys, so please consider subscribing to my channel. If you did not know, I have an Instagram, The Frugal Life of Mercedes. Until next time guys, bye.